Yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's recording. Okay. You guys, this is, this is going to be the latest and the greatest. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to get my paper. Watch my pan. Don't touch it. It's hot. It's a hot pan. Don't touch it. I'm going to get my paper. Just a minute. Hang on. Don't leave yet. I'm getting some paper. Oh. You'll be back in a minute. I'm coming. I got my paper. Yeah. I have my paper now. Okay, you guys are going to think I've lost my mind. Okay. Y'all's probably going to think I lost my mind, which I have. I will find it, though, because it's probably somewhere. Don't look at the surroundings, because the husband has not done the dishes. He'll do them later. Or maybe I will, but who knows. Okay, now, I'm in my kitchen. Oh, I already said that. But I'm going to show you with my fried paper. You see this? This is a skillet. This is, well, it's like a griddle. And so, I don't know if this is safe. So, I have to put a disclaimer right away, just in case it's not safe. But see, I don't know if anybody else has tried this. Right now I'm spraying, actually that's not very strong, coffee. I was spraying coffee on it. I'm going to spray some of this yellow. But I'm just spraying this on this, on this paper while it's on the hot griddle. I'm, I'm, um, it's not real hot. I only have it like on 200 degrees or maybe less. It's, and, but then I just spray in some color on it and, um, you know what I gotta do? I gotta, I'm gonna make my coffee. My coffee is. I went and bought this here. It's fake coffee. It's like instant coffee. Actually, I didn't go buy it. I sent the hubster. I always send the hubster just so I can get food. Okay. Oh, this is a good one here. There, got me a little spoon. Got me a little spoon. Because I want to put some more coffee in here to make this stronger. I don't know. Maybe I should. Um, maybe I should put put it in hot water. But I didn't put it in hot water. It's not no big deal. Fried paper. I'm the inventor of this. Just call me Benjamin Franklin. Actually, I don't know if I actually haven't looked for it on um like on YouTube and stuff. But, um, so maybe somebody else made fried paper first. But for, for, I just like the sound of the word fried paper. Fried paper, yeah. And so, but I stick it on, see I've got some of these, um, just colors. This was Color Lab Blue. This here was yellow, and this was what I mixed with, um, some ink, inkjet, I had some inkjet ink from the printer, from a printer that didn't work. So I mixed that with some water and put that in there. This one is, that's from the Color Lab too, as well. But see, now, um, oh yeah, this scarlet that I made, I put some of uh, that make it shiny stuff in there the um it when you buy the color lab it comes with this gold and silver stuff you can put in there to make it even shiny and so then it dries up nice and quickly on this paper but i really do want it to let me see i would like the edges to be a little bit more like dark color I am not setting the house on fire, Papa. Jeez, you just sit there with your fire extinguisher. Papa thinks I'm going to turn the, set the house on fire. But I'm not going to set the house on fire. I'm just frying some paper. You know? On the skillet. On the griddle. It's just like a little griddle thing. You know what? This is how I got this griddle. See, 
my daughter, not my daughter, my son and his wife, which is my daughter-in-law, they got married here a couple months ago. And um, they got this griddle. It was one of their wedding gifts, but they already had one just like this. So they were going to bring this one back and exchange it for something else. But instead, I took it. I said, I'll take it. I deserve wedding presents. <sighs> I know that's the kind of a mother-in-law I am. Which they were seemed to be happy to give it to me. Can you see all that down there? I got to wash that. Because I, I did some more, too. This isn't the first one. See, it's drying on there. Now, some of them... I'll turn that up just a little bit. Let me know if you see smoke. Um, yeah, it's not... This part isn't quite dry yet. You know what I should do? Wait a minute. I gotta, I'm going to remix this. Just a second. I'm dumping this out. Okay, but now I'm going to take some regular coffee there. Now, I took some coffee out of the coffee pot. Now that's hot. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to add some more. Some more um, of this instant coffee into this to make it stronger. Oops, I'm getting it on the counter. That's okay because Papa can eat it, drink it. I mean, eat it. I mean, clean it up. He'll clean it up. Oh, wait a minute. I put that. <laughs> Is that funny or what? I put that hot coffee into this here. Bottle and the bottle's kind of melting. Oh, jeez. Yeah, jeez. So don't put pure teed hot coffee in your bottle because it'll melt the bottle. Ask me how I know that. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'll just wipe that up a little bit like this with this paper towel. Put this over here. I wonder if it still sprays. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Look, it sprays fine. there now so but anyhow I know you might think that looks a little weirdish but it's drying up nicely on here see how fast that's already dry you hear how that crinkles that's nice okay I gotta get me a clean piece of paper only one Elizabeth only one Okay, now, that, isn't that cool? That's an art project in itself, that there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, now I'm just, oh, that's almost too hot to handle. But I got it going on there. I got it going. Now, I'm, I'm, um, see, oh, geez, you crease, that's hot. Don't, um, don't try this at home. I'm allowed to dry it because I'm like 68 years old and I get to blame it on senility. And so, so as long as you're old, you can try stuff like this and blame it on senility. If somebody, you know, somebody might look at you and say, ma'am, you're a goofball. And you can just blame it on senility. I'm senile, sorry. Yeah, can't help it. So, um... So, yeah, see, you can watch as it dries. Now, if you were to turn this up a little, little higher, then you would get some little bit darker stuff. But um, you could, you'd get more like little burn marks and stuff. But then you can take like this, like a stencil, and you can like spray... I'm not kidding you. I invented this. I'm the inventor. I don't have any green. I, I would do this green if I had green, but I don't have green. So, um, I'm going to do this one. I'll make a blue one. A blue shamrock. Look. Look at that little gingerbread person. How cute is that or what? See there? And look at there. 
See? And look, on the other side. I can put this guy back on there, and then I can put... What if I put yellow on this side? We'll do that. There we go. And then on this side, I can see my shamrock. See, this is just the beginnings, guys. So if you guys want to try this at home, just get the fire extinguisher close nearby. Let me put that just like it is on the other side. This time I'm going to put blue on that side too. There. And any kind of spray. Even if you just mix your spray up, put like, buy that, um, you can buy like that, um, oh, what is it? Kool-Aid. That you have to add sugar and stuff to it and just use the Kool-Aid dye. Or you can use food coloring. Or you can use just a, maybe a little paint. Oh, I don't know if paint would be good to put on the griddle. But, um... Food coloring, coffee, just, you know, that kind of thing. And, um, look, see that? See, now that, like, this is the same on this side as on this side. The, the, um, shamrock. And this, the, the little gingerbread dude. Isn't that cute? That is cute. But then I think I want it. Oh, wait a minute. What color is this? This is Glimmer Mist. And it's called... I don't know what color it's called, but it looks like it's supposed to be like a brownish. Agite Bean. Yeah, that's what color it is. Brown. So... Oh, yeah. And of course... Oh, it's like gold. Holy smokes, that's a pretty color. See, we can just, you can just have at it. You can just keep going and going. Keep going and going. You know what, on this one here, my, gold, my um, it quit spraying. But then I buy these little bottles like this over to the Walmart. And these tops fit <coughs> right on here. So if... If it quits spraying, because sometimes the glimmer... And so so as hard as I tried, I couldn't get that thing to spray. So I just put got a new lid off of one of these 99-cent bottles and put it on here, and it's just like brand new. It's just like brand spanking new. And see, there you go. Look at that. That is just amazing. And you can just get you another piece. And um, I'm just going to put this this glimmer mist on there and of course you can just wash your griddle off you know just griddle it's just a griddle and it's just stuff and as long as you got soap and water then um you can just look at that i like that glimmer mist on there because it's like shiny oh and that purple hair that was just extra see that now look just look at that. See, now it's already dry. Another piece of purple hair. I must be shedding. No dog. Damn shedding. I'm shedding. So you can get like any kind of, you could probably, well, I'm not going to tell you to get your stencils and put it on there because, because, um, they might melt. But like this, these are just made out of cardboard. And, um, you know how old these are? These are from when I used to teach preschool. And I haven't, I taught preschool in the late 80s. So I've had these a long time. And because um, we used them, I got a whole, like a whole bunch of different things. I just grabbed these ones just to start with. Because I think they're cute. And we should try stuff. Always try stuff because you just never know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Isn't that cute? I love the gingerbread boy. I want him on this side too. Because I think he's beautiful. But, um... Yeah, fried paper. Google that. See what you come up with. Probably nothing, because I think I invented it. But like I say, 
do not put hot coffee <laughs> in one of these bottles because this is what will happen. But it still works. It still works just fine. Yeah, it still works just fine. But let me just show you a couple things. This wasn't the very first ones I did. This is just the ones I did just now just to show you. But see, I, um, see this is one that I did yesterday. And this one, see, I had the same things. This one I just did with the colors. And this one too, just the colors. But look how pretty, isn't it pretty? Can you imagine doing a whole journal? This is the long sheets. But okay, then, then before I started the colored ones, I had I was just using coffee. And I even poured, just poured some of the coffee on. And that's, these are kind of, and I think I had the heat up a little higher on these too. See, it was a little higher because it actually did fry the paper a little bit right here on these darker pieces. This one here, you can see a little bit of color in there only because I took some construction paper and I thought it would bleed. But it didn't really bleed much, but it did bleed a little bit. But you know what I want to try? I want to try some of that um, uh, crepe paper because I think crepe paper will bleed all over. And see, that's another one. Fried paper. Then, look. It's a doily. A heart doily. I fried that one. This is envelopes. I fried envelopes. But now these envelopes are glued shut because once you fry them, once you wet them, then the stickiness. But see, then they're glued shut. But you can cut it open for a pocket on one side or the other. And those are those. This was just a piece of paper. Oh, this was a piece of um, the paper that is from a, um, oh, good grief, file folder. So it's like heavy. This is a paper bag, a white paper bag. And I poured coffee on that one. Another envelope, another envelope. This was one of those message, important message papers. Fried. It's fried. Oh, this one here, I don't know if you can tell, but I had used a piece of an outline, uh, hmm. da -da 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 -da. a thing, a die cut, but I didn't use the die cut. I used the negative part of the die cut and sprayed through that. And so you can see the little girl there walking her doggies. I love her. And this one here... This one here, I had a, I had put a die cut thing on there too. It, it was the same die cut thing, but this one I laid the whole black piece of paper on there, and the black kind of bled into the, into the paper. Oh, this one I did put the, you know, pieces of construction paper, and it did kind of. Bleed, the color did bleed through that one a little bit on that one. I may have had that one hotter. I don't know. I could do more experiments. And see, this is, this actually is a double piece of paper too. You know, um, it's the original and the duplicate. But when I, they're, they're kind of stuck together after I fried them. Another envelope. Another piece of paper. This piece of paper I laid a doily on. And um, played with that one, and I can see some of the the image of the doily is on there. This is a piece of of that stuff, you know. What do you call that paper? Doggone it! I don't know what you call it. Like your budget paper or your ledger paper. Ledger. That's the word I was looking for. And see there, I just poured coffee on that one. So I got pretty many pages. But let me see. I want to just. Well, I have your attention. I'm just going to pour some of this coffee out. Just pour it. Okay. So I just poured it. This is like, oh, wait a minute. That might not go back on. Not it. Oh, no, it's on. And um, 
Let's see what we can do with this. Maybe I poured too much. La la la. Da -da 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 um. Yeah, I might have got too much on there. Just a minute. No problem. No problem. No problem. Bob. I can just. I'm gonna take this piece of paper and lay it on top of there and kind of soak some of that up. Yeah, I, I probably put too much. I probably put too much. I'm not an expert. I don't think ex anybody is an expert at fried paper. I hope I'm the, the originator of this. Wouldn't it be cool if I was the originator of this? Look at that. Looks like a bear. His ear, his nose. Cute, 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 cute. If I was like the invest inventor of this, I would be like Benjamin Franklin. I would go down in the history books for sure. Let's see. Well, we'll go down in the history books. <laughs> the hubster says I'm going to go down in the history books. I'm turning this up. I'm getting brave. Now, I just turned this up hotter. If you see flames, let me know. Okay. These are legal size papers. They're long. But they'd be pretty cool to just fold right in half and make a, a journal. I think I will do that. Oh, yeah. See, I turned it up and it's kind of burning a little right there. Ooh, that's looking cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Who yeah, who yeah. Okay, now. No, that's still wet. No, let that dry. It's gotta cook. It's gotta cook a little longer. This one I gotta put this one back on here too. Cause it's gotta cook. Put my bear on there. You could actually um see you can see it drying right there. That is cool. Oh yeah, and see it scorches it some. You got to you got to keep a good eye on this stuff. Yeah. You got to keep a good eye on this stuff. This is cool. Now fried paper. Hey, who wouldn't who wouldn't like fried paper? Now see that's drying pretty nicely. But I, it's got to have a little bit more color. I think it's got to have some yellow. Put some yellow on the fella. On the fella, put some yellow on the fella. Mm hmm. See now. Put some yellow on the fella. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe some red. I don't, you know, I just. It's still early in the morning. So, you know, things go through your head in the mornings that in the afternoons you might be too tired to have it go through your head. These might be like, after I'm dead, you know, like artists. When after they're like all dead, all their stuff gets all, um, all their stuff gets like all famous after they're dead. So after they're dead, after I'm dead. Which is not going to be for a long time. I'm healthy as a horse. And, um, a little arthritis. Did you know that, you know, arthritis? A lot of people complain about having the arthritis. You know what arthritis actually is? It's a precursor to rigor mortis. You know how, like, after you're dead? I know none of you have been dead. But um, when you get dead, you start, I shouldn't say those words. Those are not nice. Somebody might be dead. But um, nobody dead here. Nobody, nobody here is dead. Um, you get the rigor mortis. That's when everything starts turning like to stone and stuff, and you get all stiff. Well, um, that's what arthritis is. It's just a precursor to rigor mortis. Maybe I need to block that part of my conversation out. See, I'm just kind of moving these around there and see they're drying right quickly because I turned the heat up a little bit but see I still don't have any nothing's caught fire so I'm in good shape 
I'm in good shape. Nothing's caught fire. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try. Oh, where's that other? How can I lose things? So, oh, here it is. It was under my sack of paper. See, kitchens should be used for more than food. Just eating, you know. Take my word for it. I've ate too much in my life. That's why I'm the donut shape. And the donut whiz. But, um, yeah. Really, you should use the kitchen for more than just cooking and eating. And now that I'm old... Or I don't I don't cook as much. I used to cook a lot when I was young. When my kids were little, I cooked, baked. I mean, I baked all our bread, pies, cookies, everything. Cooked three times a day. Three times a day. While they were in school, I baked them cookies. So they would come home to cookies and milk. And milk the goats. We drank goat milk because we had goats. All of that stuff. Now that I have all this time, what do I do? Fry paper. Just fry paper. That's all. See, how long have I been going? 26 minutes, 21 seconds. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to be almost done, although I'm really on a roll. But I want to get some more stuff. I want to do some, like, music paper and maybe some book pages. And I'm going to fry them, too. But this is fun. I mean, doing, you know, you can go and do the oven-baked paper. You know how they do that coffee-dyed oven-baked. Well, I've done that, too. I've already also, I've put paper in the dehydrator. Because I, sometimes I dehydrate vegetables and stuff. I need to do it more often, but... I usually do it when gardening, you know, when we're plucking stuff out of the garden. Then I dehydrate things. I like to especially dehydrate onions. So I always have dried onions. Because if I buy a whole bag of onions, they go bad fast if I don't use them up real fast. And since I don't cook much, they go bad fast. So, so, um... I dehydrate them and then I have dried onions and so because I like onions I put onions in everything that one looks pretty good that's that looks like patriotic right there we need to get patriotic it's it's pretty soon where we need to have patriotic stuff going on now see I'm doing this on my camera I mean yeah my camera usually I videotape from no, I'm doing this on my phone. Usually I um, videotape from my camera, but this time I'm doing just from my telephone. And um, so we'll see how that goes. Wait a minute, I'm getting a, I'm getting a rag here, just a sec. Just a minute, I go over here to the sink. I'm at the sink, I'm wetting my rag. Because now, I think the longer you let it fry, ouch, I just hit my finger on the corner of the cabinet. Doggone it. Now I'm injured for life. I can't cook now for a month. Okay, so I'm going to use my rag. And I'm just going to wipe this off real quickly. Even while it's still warmish. Otherwise, when I make pancakes again on here, ooh, ooh. Otherwise, oh, I guess I should turn it off. Man, I hit that hard. Otherwise, when I when I make pancakes again, they'll have glitter in them. It's probably not good for your digestive system. So there we go. That's better. Now wipe that off. Nice and clean like. Yeah, that's good. Using this magical tool here works better than trying to hold your hand on a hot on a hot rag.
This used to be a beach towel, but it got kind of thin. So, um, it got kind of thin, so I cut it up into little rags. You know what it was originally? This was actually a towel that came free when we went and seen, well, I didn't go, but my son went to a Rays game, Tampa Bay Rays, and they were giving out towels. And he says, I can't believe you cut up my towel. Ah, it's too late then, I done cut it up. Okay, that should work. You know what, I should actually use soap. Clean it with soap. Make sure that's um, clean, clean before I cook. See, I had another one before this, but I used it for my encaustic wax. And the kids, one day, they was going to make pancakes. They said, where's the griddle? I go, oh, oops, oops, it's out on the front porch. I use it for my wax. So, so we didn't have one. Because once you put wax on it, you're pretty much done. So that's it. Look. Look at my stack of butamus. Do you see this stack of butamus? Oops, these ones I didn't do. These are my sack of butamus. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for this. Okay, now let's see. We'll stop it right here. Okay, I love you guys. I would read you a story, with, the, but I don't have my book. It's way over there on the other side of the room. So I just want you to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you can't love others because you won't know how. So love yourself so you can love others. Also... I love you very much. Thank you for coming by and listening to me lose my mind. And um, may God bless you. God bless you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.